we do have some bad news. Unfortunately, this is gonna be our last video. Sonny. My name is Ingrid. AKA the Avid Travelers. Just him. <laughs> Just me, I guess. <laughs> but we are back for another video. As promised, this is our food review of the restaurants we went to eat at in Phoenix, Arizona. We feel like these three restaurants are must try foods in Phoenix, Arizona. We do have some bad news. Unfortunately, this is gonna be our last video that we post on Sundays. <laughs> Don't get scary. We are moving our drop dates to Wednesdays at 3 p.m. So that is when we will be posting videos from here on out. Lucky for you, you get two videos this week. How exciting. Wow, so exciting. <laughs> um, we are excited that we get to post more than one video this week, which I'm excited about. I'm excited about that. But yes, thank you all for supporting us thus far and for watching our videos every Sunday but we are booting it to Tuesday Wednesdays. oh whoops Wednesday <laughs> Before we get started with the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> what was that? That's my robot voice. That's so good. Back to what we were talking about. First restaurant we ate at, like we mentioned last week, was Comic X. Comic X. Very cool spot. A lot of, they call it pop culture stuff. Halo, Harry Potter, Avengers, Star Wars. Simpsons. Yeah, Simpsons, a lot of stuff over there. Mario. Yeah, like I said, a lot of stuff. <laughs> what we ate over there. So the first thing that we had is we had to order some drinks and we decided to try butter beer. Butter beer. We've only had a couple like varieties of butter beer and the only other one that we could really compare it to was the one that we had at Universal Studios. Uh, and what was your rating on the butter beer there? For me, the butter beer from this place was a five out of five. It was better than the butter beer that you get at both of the Universal I think Studios. Not. Excuse me, this is my rating. <laughs> it was better than the butter beer you get at the Universal Studios in California and the one in Florida. Trust me. Don't Ingrid trust doesn't have. Don't trust it. No. Yeah. Immaculate taste buds like I do. Immaculate what? Oh yeah, you got immaculate taste buds, all right. Yes, I do. You know you'd be loving the restaurant to take you out to. Not all of them. Anyways, but he said five out of five. I think it was a three, a three out of five. I didn't re really like it as much as he did. I would much rather have the one from Universal Studios, whichever one, the California one or or the Florida one. How's it? It's good. But I like the Universal one better. No way. Yes. This one's way better. I like the Universal one better. They were both better than what I had. You crazy, bro. So I don't know what this is. This was about. the best butter beer you'll ever have. If no. Go try it. Trust me. If you've been to the ones in the butter beer at Universal Studios. Pretty much, pretty expensive. And the one over here tastes better and you got a big old cup like you've seen in the video. It was all right. For the appetizer, we ordered lanterns, avocado fries. I think for me, this was a three out of five. It needed a, little, yeah, a <laughs> lot more seasoning. seasoning. Like a lot more seasoning. I would give it a two out of five. I wouldn't necessarily order this again or even recommend it to anyone to order just because it was lacking flavor and that's it for the appetizer but for the main course i had the infinity challenge burger and this thing was freaking humongous it was huge it was 
falling over. I couldn't even hold it. So I grabbed like the fork and the knife and was cutting it and eating it piece by piece because it was so humongous. I ordered that with the sweet potato fries. The sweet potato fries for me was a one out of five because I love sweet potato fries and the ones over here were kind of soggy and didn't have enough salt. The burger on the other hand, I would give that a three out of five. Once again, just needed more seasoning, but I ate, I pretty much ate the whole burger. <laughs> I give it a three out of five, but I'm still gonna eat it all. <laughs> I was, like we said last week, I was freaking starving. We didn't eat the whole morning, so <laughs> I just ate through the whole thing. I'm then. But yeah, it was huge. Like, he couldn't fit the whole burger. Like, he couldn't take a bite of each section of the burger. That made sense. As far as reference on his fries, my kid loved, they love sweet potato fries. And we would give it to our daughter. We would try giving his sweet potato fries to our daughter and she wouldn't take it. And that says a lot because she usually eats everything. I, on the other hand, got the hen solo without the sauce, meaning I didn't get the spicy sauce on the chicken. I would give it, I would say, a three out of five. My fries, on the other hand, I got the garlic fries. I would definitely give those a 4.5 out of 5. They were really good. Even my daughter ate them. I mean, like, overall experience at Comic X, definitely something that we're glad that we got to experience. But would you recommend it to other people or would you even, like, want to go back? Yeah, I would definitely recommend it to other people because of the experience. Going around, seeing all the, I don't know, I would Figurines say like, yeah, it's something. like a pop culture kind of museum thing mixed with a restaurant and bar. And some of the foods, like I said, I, I would definitely get the butter beer again and the garlic fries were really good garlic fries were bomb yeah definitely try some of the other foods over there as for the other foods that we had pretty average except for the sweet potato fries and the appetizer so for the experience especially if you have little ones that are obsessed with any of the things that we mentioned before like we said earlier in our other videos our family is obsessed with harry potter or a bunch of potter heads but we love that they had a section in the restaurant that was just about harry potter the second restaurant that we went to while we were in Phoenix was Lolo's Chicken and Waffles. Yep. And this place was a step up from Comic X. Definitely. I just stuck to the regular, I guess the regular thing. I mean, it's called Lolo's. So I had the Lolo's, <laughs> which came with three pieces of chicken and two waffles. The chicken was really good. Unlike Comic X, the food was seasoned. It was very seasoned and yeah. it was very good. It was bomb. I would give the chicken because I'm not really like a fried chicken kind of person like I... Ingrid is so I would give it a four out of five. The waffles on the other hand for me were a little I don't know how to say like cinnamony I guess. I don't know if it was cinnamon or something but yeah so I would give the waffles a 3.5 out of five and I think my reason for this the reason like I'm not used to waffles like that is because of waffle love. Yeah waffle love that we have here in Utah they just make some exceptional waffles. They have really good waffles. This this guy is so stuck to the waffle love flavor that any other waffle that tastes different is not great. <laughs> I would say take the chicken from Lolo's, mix it with the waffles from Waffle Love, <laughs> and that's a straight five out of five. I'm right so there. good. And what did you have? I got tray trays. I got two pieces of lace. I got tray trays. I got two drumsticks and one waffle. I would give the waffle a four because I personally thought that it was good but the chicken was so bomb five out of five for me so good and i love fried chicken it was so good Finally, the last place we went to was the gas station. The name of the gas station is The Thumb. It's in Scottsdale, Arizona, about 30 minutes north of Phoenix. And they do have a limited menu. When we went, there were like three menu boards, but right. the third one was covered due, due to, to staffing. Yeah, staffing shortages, which really sucked. But the food that we did get, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Like, Chef's kiss. Literally, I dream about it. <laughs> because it was so good. I mean, I don't dream about it, but it was mom. I ordered the brisket stack. Mind you, I was talking to the, I don't know, the cashier <laughs> yeah. and she's like a skinny, petite woman. So I was like, oh, is the brisket stack, is it pretty filling? And she's like, oh yeah, definitely. The half stack is definitely filling. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. I think I'll just get the half stack then. So got the half stack. 
if you're a grown man, don't get the half <laughs> stack. Get the full stack and maybe order some sides. Because literally all I got was the half stack and I didn't get no sides. Not even if you're a grown man. Like literally I could have like inhaled that. Maybe, yeah, half maybe stack. just straight order up two full stacks. But this thing, oh my gosh, the brisket was so bomb. It was so good. You could definitely tell like a lot of flavoring. So this was another step up from Lolo's. It was so good. So I'm glad that we ended off our trip with eating over here because I think overall, I would say, I feel safe to say that we would both give it a five out of five, but my food wasn't the best one. Ingrid got the best one, which I was gonna order, but then she said she was gonna order it and to get more stuff for you guys because I'm a generous, avid traveler. I was like, well, if you get this, I can't get it too. So I gotta order something else so that the people can see I cannot. that everything we do on this channel is for you. It's for himself. <laughs> Next time Ingrid just needs to- No! I can just- I, That's I what I just... chose to eat and that's what I got. Just because I chose the same one as you doesn't mean I took it from you. You did because I chose I it I didn't. First. I didn't. I didn't hear you and I didn't hear you say that you were getting it. So I got it. Riddle me this. Riddle me If nothing. I say <laughs> I'm gonna order this first. Riddle me nothing because I ordered it and I didn't hear you say that you were gonna get it anyways. Anyways, anyways this before is what Ingrid, I got. <laughs> before Ingrid gives her review of the best thing that I was ordering. Yeah, yeah. And that she ordered. Yeah, yeah. I can just look at a menu, okay? Read the ingredients. And in my mouth, oh my goodness. I can taste. Wake me up when you're done talking. In my mouth, I can taste the food. And I know it's gonna be good. That's why I order my food, and then Ingrid doesn't like her food, and all of a sudden, let me try that. <laughs> let me have your plate. Let me take all of your food that you What order. are you talking about? Trust me. <laughs> okay, seriously, if you're married, then why wouldn't you eat your spouse's food? Get your own food. <laughs> Read the ingredients. I'm just saying, like. Read the ingredients. Ingredients. Put it together in your mouth and be like, oh, this is gonna taste good. <laughs> no. I'm just saying, like, if I got something that was bomb, I would eat it off. But if I got something that wasn't so great, of course I would eat off of your plate. Duh. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I got the sliced brisket sandwich. So good. Seriously, a five out of five like a 10 out of 5. Like, <laughs> Remember last week? Ah, uh, that's what this brisket sandwich was. It was so good, guys. And I'm not like a, I don't really like a lot of condiments in my food, such as like onion, pickles, all of that. Like, I'm not a big person on that. But with this brisket slice sandwich, man, it was so good. Fatty. Bomb. <laughs> Tender. I think this is my favorite place so far in Arizona. Definitely. Should have came here first. <laughs> <laughs> Should have came here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Agreed. It was so good that he had to get himself one. How do you like my sandwich? We had to go get another sandwich. Because look at this. Zoom in on this baby. You see this part right here? You see the fat? If you come here, get the fatty brisket, not the lean one. That's where all the flavor is. <laughs> it's so bomb. <laughs> it was good guys like literally that's what i dream about <laughs> the sliced brisket sandwich if you're ever 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 planning a trip to phoenix or to arizona in general please make it a priority to stop there because it's so good this is a must visit spot yeah 
That's all we got for you. Tune in on Wednesday where we let you all know where our where next travel going. destination is. And please remember to comment on that video things we should do at that place. Yeah. For this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for everyone who's been coming back, viewing our videos, and leaving comments. If there's any other places that you recommend, like bomb food that we missed out in Phoenix, Comment down below and tell us where so we can hit it up next when we're in Arizona. Yes, uh, thank you for watching the video. We outies. But before we get started with the video, shh, it's your boy, the avid traveler. Don't forget to like. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 <laughs>